I think, you know, as Daniel also, you know, has, has mentioned about being tired, being a little bit tired from a really busy, busy summer schedule. She's taken a little bit of time off as well. Uh, went back to Korea, went to a wedding. So she's uh, trying to be fresh for today. And I think with this club, she's looking at landing it on the top of that down slope and letting it trickle down the back. This one's starting right. Needs to get up a smidge. A lot, actually. Go. Uh, can you stay right on the top? Oh. Apparently, oh. yes. <laughs> Well, she's trying to figure out a way to get this close because if she puts it, there's no way it stops within 10 feet. Trying to get as much spin as she can. Wow. Clean strike, wasn't it? And couldn't have gotten much closer, could she? Nope. That's quite a good play and a pretty brave play. Par putt for Danielle Kang. Would, would this be a two putt? <laughs> it would be an all world two putt or chip and putt. Yeah. I really don't know how you'd. Well, now it's going to be at least oh, a two putt. No. I can't say I know. I think if it's a shot from on the green, it would be counted as a putt, but I don't know. Danielle Kang. Doesn't have the same length as the other two in the group, but this one just fine down the left side of the fairway. Yeah, not a lot of run. Very important reasons, obviously. Danielle Kang, second at 11. That's a controlled eight iron, Tom, from 141. Should release to the hole from there. It's going to downhill from uh, the front of the green towards that whole location. And just one note on that list that we just had up. Laura Davies is a member of the World Golf Hall of Fame. Uh, putting back up the hill. Oh, she didn't like that. She was up and out of it very quickly. So disappointing for those two players not to make the birdies there. A little fuller swing than the one she put on the last, trying to get it to draw a little bit more to the hole. That's still out to the right, though. A lot of the players will tell you that all they're trying to do is focus on winning. And when you do that, it kind of takes care of everything else. How does that not turn? Well, it did turn, but precious little, I'll tell you. She has 128. The signal's for a nine. I think this has to be just a really little one, though. Yeah, just a controlled swing there. Good shot. Ultra competitors fighting for every single shot. Because you never really know when it's going to come back for you, and that's a great birdie there. Well, you're so right, Karen, and um, it's not always easy to fight for 74 instead of 75 on your worst day. Well, she doesn't carry the same distance that, that a lot of the players do in the field, but she's very tenacious. And that'll be just fine. I give her a lot of credit. I think at that point I would have been paralytic. Not for Danielle. Well, all that work uh, just short of the green paid off. With the wind off the left, if you can hit a little draw in here, it should stop a bit quicker. It was going to kick more towards the flag there. What was landed on that downslope over the bunker. And Danielle Kang to take the solo lead. Well, this is a bit of a speedy one from the back of this green. Yeah, we've seen players struggle with the pace from back here. That's very good for pace. Good defensive putt there. You can't get carried away. Although I think Danielle's plenty long enough to get it to that bunker on the right, 250. This yep. one is nice and straight, though. Isn't going to have to worry about a thing. The one-handed follow-through, so she must not have caught it exactly the way she wanted, Judy. Something happened there. The sun peeking out here near noon, Danielle Kang, 16. That's an eight home from 144, just hanging out to the right a bit. Yeah, pretty good opportunity. This one's got a bit of left movement in it, too. She keeps still, but 
You contrast Yuka with Danielle Karen, a player who came out with a lot of fanfare. She had won back to back U.S. Women's Amateur Championships, and it took her six years before she won, but she hasn't quit winning since. And we walked 18 holes in less than three hours. And given where we hit a few of them, that was even more amazing. Really. Danielle, safely away. Well, we do know you guys get on with it.